Welcome back everybody to another episode of some building Bigwood Germ. How's everybody doing today? In the last episode, we updated to the snapshot 20W45A. I played around with the new, uh, the new features a little bit. Since then, I've done a little bit of work off camera. I've worked out this, uh, filling in this road all the way over to here. Uh, filled in some land over there for a build we're going to be doing today. And I went out and collected a bunch of copper because we're going to need a bunch of copper for what we're going to hopefully be able to get done today. So this is going to be one of the main blocks we're using in today's build. I want to make the roof entirely out of copper. And I'm not too sure yet if I want to keep it like this copper or let it change over time. I think it could be cool to see the color change over time, but at the same time, I feel like this color is actually pretty good for the look I'm going for. So like I mentioned a minute ago, we're going to be building right over there, over near the windmill kind, uh, right on the top of this hill over here. So right about here, I think, is where we're going to be building the house. So we're going to go ahead and put down some barrels and a chest here, put all the materials in, and we're going to be building with actually a lot of the new block. I want to use a lot of the calcite. I want to use a lot of the, uh, the gray one. What is it? Tough. I want to use a lot of that for texturing. Maybe even some of the red wood from the crimson, or some of the crimson wood from the nether update. Uh, and it'll be right about here. So I'm going to go ahead. I need to gather up a few more things like some calcite, some diorite, and maybe some other stuff. And we'll be back once we got that stuff together. All right, we're back. And I got some blocks together now. Hopefully everything we should need. Got some tough, got lots of calcite, andesite. I do need to craft up some more white concrete powder, but we should be able to do that no problem. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start laying out this house now. So we're going to go, I think, right about here. So I think that is just about going to be the shape of it. And you know what? I may actually move it a little bit closer to this hedge line here. Um, Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, so what this is going to be, this is going to be a rabbit farm. Because I want to be able to get a lot of rabbit hide uh, so we can make a bunch of bundles from the 117 update. And I think this would be the perfect build to use all the new blocks in. So that's why we're doing that. All right, so I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm actually, I think I'm going to reverse this. So this side is sticking out of this side instead. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into a time lapse. Me working out this build. Hopefully it turns out okay. We don't have the replay mod yet, obviously, uh, because we're in the snapshot. But I believe they are actually working on the snapshot version. So hopefully we can get that soon. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to work on this. And we'll be back in just a minute. All right, there we go. There is the house. I think it's looking pretty cool. Uh, I used a lot of the new copper, the calcite, the tough, and I even used the new texture I've been working on, texture pack. This is the brown stained glass, and I think it all comes together really, really nicely. So there are a few things I still need to do. Uh, I obviously need to do an interior, and I ran out of copper before I could finish the backside of this house, or the roof here. You can see I only have one stair left and three blocks, so I can't even make another stair yet. Uh, so, yeah, that stuff will have to get done off camera. I'll probably do that in between clips here. And here on the back side, we're going to do a big pen for all the rabbits. I think somewhere I'm going to hide, like maybe underground or something, a actual rabbit farm. Kind of like the AFK, or not AFK, but kind of like the chicken farm or chicken cookers you do. I think I'll do a rabbit farm somewhere around here for that. But that's something we'll get working on here in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go out and look for all the rest of the materials I need for this. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera. And then we'll get to work on the actual. All right, we are back. And I got the house pretty much completely finished on the exterior. 
And it's actually the next day because I had to spend a lot of time mining for the copper. Uh, I went on one trip out, got several stacks of copper, and that ba basically finished half of the roof. So I had to go out again. But it's all the way finished now, and it's looking good, I think. I'm, I'm really, really liking this color palette. But we can't finish this build just yet. I need to gather up some rabbits. Uh, so I need to grab some leads really quick. I house over there. Yeah, we need to grab some rabbits. I'm not too sure which would be the most likely place to find rabbits. There's a desert over there. I'll probably check out this taiga first, but if not, we'll have to go to... I think we'll definitely find all right, there we go. Got some leads. Let's also grab some carrots. Uh, so if we find two, we can breed them. Go, we got two carrots. Now let's go ahead and head into the taiga. All right, finally found some rabbits. There's one. Oh, here we go. There's one right there. Okay, uh, these are the only two I see right now. I'm going to try to get a third, maybe a fourth one. But, oh, hello. Geode right here. Look at this. Not expecting to see this. Ooh, some copper too. Okay. What? I'm going to, uh-oh. Nope, nope, nope. Stay away from me, creeper. I'm going to hang around here a little bit, try to get some stuff. Then I'm going to head back to the house. Oh, God. And we can get started on the rabbit pen. All right, made it back. And unfortunately, one of them died, but I did end up finding another one. So that was very lucky. Uh, but let's go ahead and breed these really quick. Grab this one really quick. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, no. Got it. Okay, I got it. All right, let's bring this back over here and tie it to the... All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I need to clear out a little bit of land here, I think. Then gather up a few materials, and we'll get to work on uh, this little fenced-in backyard. All right, we're back, and it's actually the next day now. We ended up getting a new snapshot this morning. Uh, so we got a few new things. Like, Well, we got a lot of retexture. Uh, they retextured the candle icon, which was like a much better bundles, which is like really cool. And the amethyst block. There's a few more small retextures, like fixing some of the copper texture. Some of them were a little low contrast. I don't have any here. And they also redid the calcite, which is looking much, much better. I did like how it was before, but it did feel a little... Uh, it didn't tile very well. But they also added snowier snow, or the powder snow. The only way you can get it right now is you have to put out a cauldron. Let's actually grab two of these. You have to put out a cauldron when it's snowing outside. So I don't know how possible this is, but go ahead and head off to the mountain biome over here. Maybe wait around a little bit, see if we can get it to snow. All right, we're here in a mountain biome now. Unfortunately, there has not been any mountain terrain updates yet, hopefully very soon. Uh, I'm really hoping within the next snapshots we'll start that stuff, but now I'm gonna go ahead and lay out some cauldrons here. And I think, I think it only works yeah, I think it only works from falling from the sky, so... So I'm gonna sit here for a little bit, see if it'll start raining or snowing at some point, And then we can check it out. Oh, okay. It finally started raining. Uh, I've been messing with horses for a while. I want to try to get a faster horse, but... Let's get up here. Okay, let's see. I don't know how long this is supposed to take. Um, but... Hopefully we start seeing it happen soon. All right, I've been up here waiting for quite a while. It's already nighttime. Uh, and I'm kind of thinking maybe this doesn't work properly. Right? I don't know. Either that or it takes super, super long. So, I don't know. I I wish I had a mountain in uh, the loaded chunks of the stuff I'm going to be working on today. But I don't. So, I guess we're just going to have to wait and mess with this maybe in the next episode. Unless, I guess I'll wait here until daytime. And uh, if nothing happens from that, then we'll just wait. Okay. Weird thing just happened. Uh, for some reason, this just made water. The snow is gone now. This just made water. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Say water? Yeah, it says water cauldron. Well, I don't know. I guess we're done with this then. <laughs> I guess we're done with this for today's episode. Uh, so, let's go ahead and head back over and try to finish it up. All right, we're back over here at this rabbit farm area. And we're going to get started on this pen in the back. All right, so we're going to do one, two, three, then one, two, three there. And we'll do three fences up like that. And that's kind of the design we're going to go with. For this. We're going to go three of these sections back like this. And then we'll go over a few sections like this. Oh, look at this. The copper is starting to change in my kitchen. I put this down in the when I recorded the last, uh, last snapshot. 
and it's starting to change color. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool to see that just naturally. That's really cool. That's going to be really cool once it changes all to the last day. I, I got the pen all the way, the wall around the pen all the way finished. Uh, so now let's just go ahead and let's bring these guys in here. Uh, I think I have, yeah, I have some carrots in this bundle. Now let's try to lead these guys. I don't know if I'll even need a lead to be on. All right, come on. Let's go ahead and get in here and I can start breeding them up. All right, so I don't want to really do too much here. I want to add a bunch of uh, coarse dirt mixed grass and a lot of tall grass. But a couple things I do want to add. First of all, I need to fix it. Uh, I want to add a barrel here and we're going to do a pressure plate, acacia pressure plate like that there. That'll kind of look like some carrots maybe in a barrel. And I also want to dig down the ground a bit over here. And we're going to craft up some slabs uh, where you use the dirt. I have a data pack in my world that changes petrified oak slabs to dirt, coarse dirt slabs. We're going to use that uh, to make just a little bit of a hole right here in the ground. To add a little bit of height variation. And that's really going to be the main thing. Nothing too crazy here. I did mention I want to do like an automatic rabbit farm somewhere in here. I don't think I am going to do that because uh, honestly, I think just breeding them manually uh, is probably going to be enough. Yeah, I think we got some pretty good stuff done today. Uh, can I read any of these yet? I don't think so. I'm trying to see. I just bred two adults. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's an adult. No, not yet. There's only three adults right now. Wait. No, one just grew up. Okay. So let's do that one. And can you read? Read? Yes, you can. Okay, we got two new rabbits on the way. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much going to do it for today's build. Um, I'm kind of thinking, well, okay, so I did do this. I did use my my yellow carpet in my texture pack as hay, but I think I'm going to replace this with the lush grass blocks or the lush, the whatever the moss block and lush caves are, the carpet version of it and a full block version. So I think I'm probably going to replace it once we get that and probably place it around a, a little more in this area after that. But again, that is going to have to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Let me know what you think of this house. I think it turned out pretty cool. I was a little nervous about using these copper blocks for this, but I think it blends in pretty nicely. Also, if you have any suggestions for other stuff I should add to this area for expanding this village, let me know in the comments down below, of course. But again, that's going to do it. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.